Good morning, Gregory. Hi, I'm Cameron Slavowski. And I'm Joshua Tamayo. Today is Friday, March 16th. Today on UNN, we take a look at a family volunteering to help the community. We also bring you a story on a grandmother's life of growing up in the 1900s. All this and more on today's UNN. A grandmother lets us take a look at her childhood in early America. From farms to friends, Cameron Soblowski brings us more. I grew up a long time ago in a small little community called Little Rock, California. We had a small little ranch, about three acres, and we grew trees and all kinds of vegetables and fruit. And we also had farm for, enough land on our farm for us chickens and pigs and goats and cows, you name it, we grew up, except we couldn't have a horse. Didn't pay. I was young. I remember when we were in the bus coming from Keppel Union School, which is about a mile away. Couldn't walk. Had to take the bus. And my mom used to make the best rolls, cinnamon rolls. Oh, they were just so good. And when we'd get close to the house, I knew I could smell those cinnamon rolls and everybody on the bus and the bus driver would lean out that window. Mm, 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 mom making cinnamon rolls again. So every morning the next day, I'd have to bring him cinnamon rolls from what my mom made. One time I remember my uncle Tommy brought, came visiting at the house and I was about, I guess 10, 11 years old. And he bought, had brought me, it was a birthday present, a baseball, a bat, a glove, you know, other things that girls usually don't like to do. But I got really good at it and I joined the baseball team for, and I played against the boys and I could hit better than any of them, still can. <laughs> when we were children, we used to make little pilgrimages over to Earl's Whitaker store and we'd go in there and we'd get up on the bales of hay and sit up there and put nuts and Pepsis and drink them and oh gosh it was fun it was a good childhood and then when we got older we went over to Palmdale High and when we were in I was in uh, high school second year during the drill team and everything and then we then we um moved to Santa Clarita, California, which is about 20 miles away. And my friends would come and visit and eventually I made all new friends and we had a really good time. We'd go to Malibu to the beach. We were older at that point, 16, 17. Go to the beach in Malibu, learn to surf. That's what kids do when they live close to, you know, things like that. You could do that, no problems whatsoever. It was fun. We met all kinds of boys in that little area. And one of the boys' names was Don, and I did not like him at all. He was kind of a smarty pants, and you know, we really didn't care for him. Well, he ended up being my husband. He's the one I chose after all these years. That's about it. That's my life. Is that good? Fundraising boxes for pennies for patients will be picked up on Monday from first period classrooms. Monday is the last day to donate. And the first period with the most donations receive a donut party. As a reminder, AP tests are still on sale through the SBO and online. They cost $94 and you must order by the 14th. And now Joshua Tomeo brings us a story on a family giving back to the community. Uh, I've been volunteering for Church in the Park for about um, almost nine years now. I started out as just a food helper and after I'd been doing it for I'd say three months, the person who was organizing it uh, had to step down. They asked me if I would take over feeding the church once a month. Um, we feed up to 300 people. That's counting all of our volunteers and um, children and the um, people who attend. Every month we decide what we're gonna feed them and then I round up the volunteers who are gonna bring each component of the meal. This month we served a chili cheese dog. That's a huge favorite of the people down um, there at the park. Um, takes us about an hour and a half to get everybody through the line and get seconds and get cleaned up. So it's really a, a minimal time commitment for people who want to come down and help out. Um, we're always looking for new volunteers. Uh, we all rotate on what we do. Some people serve the meat, some people do the salad. This month I was in charge of 
slapping chili on each uh, chili dog, but we serve the food in assembly line style. So it starts with the plate at the end and each person at each station um, puts their item on the plate and then at the end of the table, the uh, people who are there come by and um, pick up their meal. So it's um, a great fun time, get to know people and um, know that you're helping out the community uh, with homelessness and people who are hungry. So um, yeah, we love what we do down there. I started Church in the Park by hearing that my mom did it, so I wanted to tag along just to kind of help out. This week we started off by putting a bun on each plate and then starting uh, giving it to the next one to put a hot dog on it. Then we give the plate off to the next person to put green beans, salad, etc. on it, and then we give it to the end person who then gives it to the homeless people. I like helping homeless people just to see the smile on their faces and just to know that I'm making a difference in the world. Thanks, Josh. Well, that's it for today on UNN. I'm Cameron Sabloski. I'm Josh Hutamayo. See you, see you next, next time. time.